Due to the explosion of conventions throughout the world, it's easier than ever to meet the stars of your favorite movies or shows. I'm Captain Kyle, and here are 12 tips to help you know what to expect and how to make the most of your meeting with these celebrities. Depending on the convention or event, the actor you want to meet might have long lines. Sometimes you might luck out with timing or the person you want to meet isn't as in demand as other guests, and you'll be talking to them in minutes. Other times you might have to wait for literally hours to spend just a few minutes with the celebrity of your dreams. Use the facilities before getting in line, bring a book, snacks, and better yet, bring a friend. They can hold your space in line in case you need to step away for a moment. Plus, some veterans bring portable chairs and stools. And it's a great opportunity to meet fellow fans. You might be nervous about meeting your hero, someone who is obviously a god or goddess sent from on high to grace the earth with their perfection. Except they are not. No matter how amazing they are on screen, these celebrities are people. They eat, they drink, they do other things as a result of those two that aren't something to be mentioned in polite company. In other words, despite their profession, they are just as human as we are. Which means you should give them the respect every person deserves, but fawning over them, hyperventilating and getting tongue-tied can make things awkward, uncomfortable, and possibly lessen the joy of the experience you have with meeting that celebrity. They have encountered speechless fans before, but you'll get more out of the experience if you can actually talk. If you were nervous, I would say visualize them naked, but that might not be a good idea. Maybe picture them flossing? But practicing what you might want to say ahead of time can be helpful. The actor you are meeting is playing a part. They may play a horrible person on screen, but keep in mind, that's just a role. No matter how heinous they are in those scenes, this likely has nothing to do with how they are in real life. Some of the nicest people play the parts of murderers, betrayers, cheaters, and much worse. So keep in mind, it's fiction. Don't blame them for their character's actions. Which brings us to... It's rare that an actor has major input on the story portrayed in the movie or television show you're watching. While there are some actors who have written or directed the stories they play parts in, more often the actor has nothing to do with the story or direction of the series. They are given scripts, direction, so asking why they did this instead of that will likely get you the answer, it was in the script. While the actor might have some minor input about how their character says a line or performs a certain action, it's ultimately up to the directors and writers, and later the editors, as to how the story goes. Even if they agree with all your points, they still have to listen to the people signing their paychecks. This should be a given, but asking an actor about what will happen in something that hasn't been released yet is a definite no-no. Not only would such information not be welcomed by most fans, in most cases the actor has signed a non-disclosure agreement which doesn't allow them to give you that information. Yeah, everybody dies in a horrible bus accident. It's terrible. And the entire cast is replaced by little people. Just wait for it to come out like the rest of us. Lots of people love to get photos and autographs with the stars. But asking for free ones or discounts when they're at their table? No good. What some people do not understand is the actors are required to charge for photos and autographs at least until they reach their guarantee. Conventions which bring an actor in guarantee that that actor will make X amount of dollars for their appearance, which could range from a couple thousand to a couple hundred thousand. This is negotiated between the actor's agency and the convention. If the actor doesn't make the guarantee, the convention is liable for the difference. If the actor gives out lots of freebies, convention could be on the hook for a sizable amount of money and likely won't bring that actor back again. The money received from autographs and photos is actually part of the actor's income and helps them when they are in between acting roles or when they're retired. 
and on occasion an actor might offer you a free autograph or photo, feel free to take it. But don't ask. It's also rude. You've waited a long time to meet this particular celebrity, but realize that the people behind you have likely waited just as long. You may wish to converse with the actor for hours, but in reality, for them to meet as many fans as possible, you might get uh, just a few minutes with them. Even if they are having a good time and aren't rushing you away, be considerate of those who also want to meet them. You may also be asked to move along by their manager, who often has the unpleasant job of being a party pooper and keeping the line moving. It's unfortunate that there have been some instances where some disturbed individuals have made threats against actors or even attempted to put themselves in a position where they can attack a celebrity. Which is why you should be very careful in speaking to actors. Even joking about wanting to attack them could make things unpleasant. Saying, I wanted to smack your character when they did something or other, that's one thing. But saying, how dare you do that? I want to kill you for that. That's something you should never say. Security convention is already on edge because of various events, so don't make the actor uncomfortable or feel threatened. This can quickly result in your being removed and possibly banned from the convention, even if you are only joking. This should apply to everyone, of course, but be sure to avoid any inappropriate physical contact with actors, at least without permission. There are a few celebrities who, if you ask to grab their bottom, <laughs> might be up for it. But you do need to ask and be prepared for them to say no. And there is the very true story of one fan who became so excited she bit an actor. Clamp down on those impulses or you'll find yourself outside of the convention and possibly added to a list you don't want to be on. You have a great idea for a pose for the professional photo op you have scheduled with an actor. Photo ops are often a hurried affair with tons of people waiting their turns for 20 to 30 seconds with a celebrity. If possible, visit the actor at their table prior to the photo op and see if they are willing to get into that pose. In some cases, they may have to decline due to contractual agreements or they may not be comfortable with it. Be prepared for them to say no. But usually, most actors are only too happy to do a photo that is different from the normal arm around and thumbs up deal. If you can't speak to them ahead of time, ask quickly and clearly right before the photo op and explain what you want to do. You could get some very interesting shots this way. Generally, when you approach a celebrity's table, there are people there to organize the line, take payment for autographs and photos, snap those table pictures and assist the actor when they're meeting fans. These people are, believe it or not, also people. Treat them with respect and be nice to them. They have to deal with fans all day long and keep things running smoothly. Being courteous to them is a good idea and having met many of them, they are often great people in their own right. Treating them badly might make them less inclined to help you make your meeting with a celebrity a fun experience. And many times they are friendly or even friends with the actor and treating your favorite actor's friends badly isn't going to make them look fondly on you. Be nice and considerate to everyone, and things will go a lot more smoothly. Lots of fans are so inspired by a particular star that they want to give them a gift. While actors appreciate the thought and might be grateful to receive such a gift, it's sometimes very difficult for them to take them home after the convention. There's only so much room in their luggage. Many gifts will actually be given to the staff who help them at the con. If you want them to keep the gift you give them, make sure that it's small and easy to pack. Some actors love small pieces of artwork that pack flat and won't take up a lot of room in their carry-on. Small figurines and toys might work as well. But keep in mind that a large gift might very well end up in someone else's hands. Food, also problematic. So that's our list of tips for meeting your favorite actors at conventions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notifications. Mash that like button like a potato. We'll see you next time and as always have fun and cosplay on.